Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular project series and my name is Anil and in this uh, video basically this is the second video as you know if you did not watch our previous video link is given in the description box so uh, in this video we will understand how Postman is working and how JSON server will uh, make the APIs we will understand everything after that you never need to understand uh, more about the Postman and the uh, JSON server alright so you will get everything here so as you know postman is very essential thing without postman if you are working with uh, any front end library with or the uh, framework like angular react or you you have to test your apis with the postman then you have to integrate them all right because without them you don't you cannot know that uh, the error is coming from the server side or this is your uh, front end error all right so now let's make our first api about the restaurant so uh, here you can see that this is our db file and uh, this is running on the 300 server 3000 server like and here is the post api so now let's make first api with the uh, json server about the restaurant so first of all uh, let's just remove these things we can just remove or comment this thing for now and uh, just make a key with the name of restaurant and let's define an array right in this array so let's uh, just remove it this is giving the errors and all so we can just simply remove it all right and in this array we can just define the simply object so like let's define the object in this object uh, we will define the restraint data so what is the required thing for restraint data uh, first thing is id let's say id is uh, one you can just break it like this also if you just want and just format it okay id can be uh, number only all right and after that we can define the name also and name can be like kfc restaurant all right and after that uh, address can, can be a field and let's say address is noida sector 50 or something and one more thing is required like email so we can just also find the email let's say kfc the rate test.com this is not the email, email id <laughs> don't try to order, order on it all right so now let's try to access it on a front end so just remove this and you will find this is the restaurant api all right so this is the first object so we can just define one more object simply like this and here we can just provide some more data like id2 and home restaurant daily and home and something like this all right let's say sector 20. so now you can see that we have a two data all right so this is the simplest way that how you can create the apis and if you just create the api in any server side language the result will be the same so this is the get api as we know so now let's see that how I can test it on the uh, postman. So for that you just have to copy this URL and let's go inside the postman. And from here you can just select the method. So this is the get API. So you can just check it on the get. Now you can see that we are able to get the data here. All right. So now this is the get and very simple to test. Now let's see how we can test the post. The post simply means when you just using the post, you are entering the data or you are storing the data on a uh, your server side all right and so let's select the post here when you select the post you have to select the body to select the raw data and here we can choose the whatever method you use we are using the json so we can just put it like this so now let's uh, just copy a uh, data from here so that we can do it very quickly just paste it here like this all right now when you just doing uh, adding the data in the postman on the json server you don't need to put the ids and you can also change the name like uh, uh, macd restaurant and macd like this and this is going to be a noida sector 110 all right and just try to save it when you just try to save it you will find that status is uh, 201 that means created and let's come on a uh, json.db file you can see that we got the third entry also so this is the way that how the post api is working so now let's say you just want to update something so you just want to uh, put here uh, 
McDonald's like this mm, McDonald's McDonald's and let's uh, just change the email ID also and now if this is the post tip uh, then it will just enter the data so updating the data you have to use the put and here you have to use the ID in the param so I just want to update the third ID here like this and now let's try to update it as you can see that status is 200 that means data is updated let's come here now you can see that data is updated here alright this is the how post API is working so if you just want to check it out how uh, the search API is working then you just have to put here too. if you think that how I know these things these things are mentioned here here you can see that uh, get API post API put API patch API delete API everything is mentioned here alright so let's look out for search API how search API is working so for that you have to use the get method so just use here uh, get method from here and here we have to use the question Q that means query uh, you can just see here also right so here I am just going to put here let's say I just want to put here noida so according to the noida we have a two result because uh, one is for the restaurant one ID and another for the third ID alright so let's uh, search the noida okay so nothing is come here because we just put here quotes we never need to put here quotes let's see now you can see that ID 1 and 3 is coming because we have a 3 result if I'm just going to put here KFC KFC we should get a 1 result because only one restaurant is there alright if I'm just going to search it test.com then we must will we get the 3 result because all have a test.com so this is a how search API is working so if you just want to delete something then you can search it select here de delete method just put the ID let's say I just want to delete the third ID like this and uh, we don't need any body kind of hole just hit it as uh, you can see that 200 with the blank result that means it is deleted you can find only two id here right so this is the how json and uh, json server and the postman is working if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care